What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video you will learn what is the value of slip angle alpha and how to find the value of lateral force on tire. So without spending much time, let's start now. Due to vehicle roll, small amount of camber is produced and this camber generates camber thrust which is the type of lateral force. Camber thrust is given by F by phi equals to minus of C phi multiplied by phi where C phi is the tire camber thrust coefficient. It is given by the slope of curve between lateral force at time of roll and the roll angle. When vehicle rolls, suspension mechanism provides some steering angle delta phi and delta phi is equals to C delta phi multiplied by phi where C delta phi is the roll steering coefficient given by the slope of steer angle delta at time of roll and the roll angle. So from here we get the actual steering angle delta A equals to delta plus delta phi. The center of mass of wheel BW is located at a distance of AX, AY and AZ from the center of mass of vehicle. So we get position of BW equals to AX I cap plus AY J cap plus AZ K cap. Velocity is given by V equals to dA by dt. We know V equals to delta A by delta T plus omega cross A which gives us Velocity V equals to Vx i cap plus Vy j cap plus Vz k cap plus omega cross A. Omega has the following values in x, y and z directions. Solving the vector and putting Vz and omega y equals to 0 as they are neglected in vehicle roll dynamics, we get the value of velocity of tire in different direction x, y and z. Now let's calculate the value of slip angle alpha. In the figure you can see the tire is steered with a steer angle delta A which produces a slip angle due to lateral force generation at angle alpha with the pointing direction of wheel. The angle between the heading direction of tire and x axis is given by beta. From the figure we can write alpha equals to minus of delta A minus beta which gives us alpha equals to beta minus delta A. Here tan beta is given by ratio of velocity in y direction to velocity in x direction. So, for a small angle, beta can be approximated as this. We know alpha equals to beta minus delta A. On solving these, we get the following value of slip angle alpha of the tire. The lateral force is given by F by alpha equals to minus C alpha multiplied by alpha, where C alpha is the cornering stiffness. So, from here, the total value of lateral force is given by F by equals to F by alpha plus F by phi. Here, on putting the values of alpha, we can get the value of lateral force. The coronating stiffness and other coefficient mentioned here can be found using slope of load curves of the tire. So, just by the value of coronating stiffness, position of wheel and various velocities related, you can easily find the value of lateral force and slip angle alpha. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it. And also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.